Welcome. Let's try to uh, solve another lead group problem. 962 maximum with ramp. We are giving a ramp. So the ramp is an integer real nums. And for each of the pair i and j, for which i less than j and nums i less than or equal to j. Yeah, so this is the definition of the ramp. So the width of such a ramp is j minus i. So if we meet the condition, so for example, i less than j and nums i less than or equal to nums j, and so we have a width. So the width of the ramp is j minus i. Let's just use this example, maybe uh, from index 1 to index 5. So what, what is the uh, distance? So the distance is j minus 5. So the result is uh, 4. So j is 5. Uh, i is 1, so 5 minus 1, it is 4. And we also meet the condition, nums i less than or equal, so 0 is less than or equal to 5. Yeah. As the number of n is 10 to the power of 5, basically we cannot use uh, on squared to solve the problem. Uh, we have to use on or n log n time. How can we uh, reduce the time complexity? Um, because, uh, so for each of the numbers, so for example, this is 0 and this is 5. And maybe we're gonna, so if this 5 is more than 0, do we need to compare with another number, maybe 1 and 0? We don't need to compare, because definitely the distance is smaller. Maybe we're gonna compare the next number, maybe this next number is 6, maybe it is a 3. Yeah, so 5 minus 3, 5 is more than 3, so this is also a possible result. So this means, this is another pattern of a monotonic stack. Basically, the monotonic stack is uh, uh, next greater element or next greater and equal, next greater or equal, or next to smaller, or next to smaller or equal. But uh, for our problem, uh, this is another pattern of monotonic stack. Uh, because we are going to calculate uh, a number at the right side. So for example, this is a number at the right side. And we are going to find a number at the left side. So the right side minus the left side, we're going to have the maximum distance. We basically wanted to calculate it like that. So if there's some number maybe more than that, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if there's some number at the uh, left side of this number, it is less than that. It is also uh, doesn't matter. But what we concern is only about this dot minus this dot. So this is the level. So we are going to calculate it uh, basically like this. Yeah. So this means we are going to keep a monotonic uh, decreasing stack. So for example, this is a decreasing. Yeah. But uh, uh, do we need to consider th this dot? Or maybe there's another dot, this dot. Yeah, this dot is higher. Do we need to consider that? We don't need. Because this is a, a shorter distance, but uh, this distance is bigger, is longer. Yeah. So this means if we can keep a monotonic decreasing stack, basically, uh, we can only use O n time to finish uh, all the calculation. So if we pop out, so for example, while we are calculating, we keep a monotonic stack like this. So those three dots are our monotonic stack. So for example, maybe this is, uh, uh, let's say, 3, 2, and uh, 1. So we have three numbers. So we have 3, 2, 1, and we're going to put the index like 0, uh, 1, 2 for the index, we don't have this number. Yeah. So we're going to have 0, 1, 2, we put it inside of the stack. And now what we consider is only um, what's left behind is uh, all those numbers. So we're going to check from the right to the left. We're going to first check this dot. Do we need to check this dot? We don't need. Yeah, because uh, why we are keeping a monotonic uh, decreasing stack, if uh, this is bigger, there are other numbers. Even this dot is a bit less than uh, this dot, but the distance is smaller. As you can see, the distance is here. But this one, the distance is uh, longer. So basically, if we, we keep a monotonic decreasing stack, the greedy idea is that we can always keep the uh, maximum distance. Yeah. Now, what do we need to do? We need to use this distance, this dot minus this dot. So the distance is here. Yeah. So this is the distance. After recalculating the distance, we just need to take it out of the uh, stack. Now we're going to check this distance. As this number is bigger than this, so we're going to take it out. But we have uh, another distance. So the, the 
yeah, as this number is here, so the distance is longer, so it is here. Now we're going to use this dot to compare with this one. It is more than that, so we're going to have a bigger distance. So in this way, we can keep all the... Yeah, we can check all different cases, and uh, we check to the maximum distance. Or maybe there's another number uh, which is bigger than that. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to still keep it inside of the stack. Maybe there's uh, another number, next number. Yeah, so maybe uh, there's another number, uh, the next number, maybe here. Yeah, this number is bigger than that. So we're going to continue to check that. Maybe this dis dis distance is bigger. So we're going to record the maximum result. Yeah, so this is a, uh, let me make another drawing. So basically, we're going to keep our monotonic decreasing stack from the beginning. We're going to check from the first index to the last index. If uh, it is uh, decreasing, we're going to record the distance. So we need to have the first, uh, we're gonna, we need to start from the first index because this might be the, this may be the best solution. So we have to put it inside. So for our example, is we're going to put index 0 and 6 and 0 is OK. Yeah, so we're going to put uh, 0 and index 1 inside of the monotonic stack. Yeah, so this is a 6 and this is a, a 0. Next, what are we going to do? We just check the numbers from the right to the left one by one. And for the uh, first number, maybe this is 5. So we're going to check the distance of 5 to 0. And we're going to record the result, so it's going to be 4. So we have a record of the result. And then we can delete this number. Maybe you think we don't need to delete it. Why not? Because this is the longest distance. And for the next number, even though it is 1, but this distance is smaller. So definitely we can delete this dot. This dot. Now we can compare with this 5 to 6. 5 is smaller than 6, so we're going to check the next number. Yeah, and, and it is a smaller, maybe next number is 8. We're going to compare 8 with 6, but the distance is only 2. But our final result is 4. Yeah. So let's just start to use uh, this pattern to solve the problem. Uh, we're going to prepare a stack. So I'm going to put the first index inside the stack. It is uh, 0. And then I'm going to prepare the length of the uh, nums. I'm going to start from the second index. Because basically, up to here, I'm going to prepare a monotonic decreasing stack from the first from the first index. So for i in raise n, uh, I need to check if uh, my current nums i uh, is less than uh, nums uh, stack uh, minus 1. So this means, uh, yeah, I can put it inside of the stack if it is uh, less than. If it is equal, I don't need to do that. For example, the next number is 6. I don't need to put it inside of the stack. I just need to keep this one. Because this one has the um, longest distance while I'm comparing with the right side. So I don't need to use equal. If it is less than, uh, I'm going to put it inside. So the stack should append the index because I will use the index to calculate the distance. Now. Uh, the stack is OK, so we just need to check uh, from the right to the left side. So for i in raise n minus 1, minus 1, and uh, minus 1. Uh, we want to check if this number is smaller than the number on top of, of the stack. So if uh, uh, nums i, uh, yeah, it is bigger. Uh, we, we want to check if it is uh, uh, more than and equal, because here, as you can see, it is uh, more than and equal. So from the right side, if it is uh, uh, more than and equal to a uh, nums stack uh, minus 1. But we have to check the stack must exist. Yeah. And uh, for this check, it is not if check, it is a while check. If there's uh, something inside, we're going to still continue to check it, because this is the pattern of monotonic stack. Yeah. Uh, now we want to pop out uh, the index. So stack uh, need to um, pop out uh, the index. And we're going to record the final result. And going to be maximum of result uh, with i and minus uh, the popped index, and say. And finally, uh, we can return the result. Yeah. As you can see, the operation 
uh, result is going to be starting from zero. As you can see from the operation, it is only about um, pop out, and here is only about a pend. So this is another pattern of monotonic stack. Uh, the first step is going to be a pend, and the second step is going to be pop. Yeah, normally we put it together, so that is the next greater element or next smaller element. But this pattern is not the next greater element. It is uh, the longest distance, maybe. Uh, it's um, yeah, maybe it is just uh, uh, like an interval number. We we want to find the um, biggest interval to meet the conditions of the uh, last number, maybe the right side of the number more than the left side, and we want to calculate the uh, largest intervals. Yeah, the so biggest intervals. So this pattern is like that. So first of all, we're gonna append, put it inside the stack, and then we're gonna pop it out. Yeah. Now let me uh, run it to tag. As you can see, it works. Now let me submit it to tag if it can pass all testing cases. As you can see, it passed all testing cases, and it's pretty fast because this is their own time complexity, and n is 5 times 10 to the power of 4. Thank you for watching. See you next time.